Now that we have the code for the subprogram for a square, let's go ahead and make a circle of squares. In order to do that, we need to add a repeat block around this square so it will draw multiple squares. Under Control, select Repeat. Drag it over and place it so that only the square block is inside of the repeat. If everything kind of gets a little messed up, just drag it all apart, put the square inside of the repeat, and then put it black back into place. Right now it'll draw 10 squares, but all of the squares will be on top of each other. So what we want to do is rotate a little bit in between each square. Under Motion, select the Turn block, and snap it just beneath the square block. Let's rotate 36 degrees in between each square. Now when I run my code, it should draw 10 squares and each square will be rotated, or there'll be a rotation of 36 degrees in between each square. So let's run it. Now you might not like how slow it's going. And it's going that slow because we have these weight blocks that are currently a quarter of a second. So what I'm going to do is take those weight blocks out so that our drawing will appear faster. So to take the weight blocks out, you can just drag each one down. You might have to place some of the blue blocks back into place. And then we will delete those blocks. So to delete them, you can drag them over to the left and let go, or you can right click and click on delete block. So let's run it again. Now you can see our squares are drawn faster. Notice that 36 times 10 is 360. If we want a full circle of squares, these two numbers need to be, the product of these two numbers rather, needs to be 360 because there's 360 degrees in a circle. What we might do is change it so that we have 36 squares and 10 degrees in between each square. So let's run that. Now the squares are closer together. Something else cool that we might add to our program is to change the color. So rather than a whole bunch of blue squares, let's change the color in between each square. So under pen, select change pen color by 10. Make sure it's the change and not the set block. So I'm going to snap that into place just beneath the turn block. So it will draw a square, turn 10 degrees, and then it will change color. Then it will draw the next square, and it repeats that 36 times. So let's run it again. So now we have a pretty cool image. You might want to play around with this now and change it so that there are other shapes rather than only squares in our circle. Um, and also you can play around with these two numbers, so the repeat and the turn in between, so you can have various numbers of squares.